Hi guys, Russell from Hit The Trail. Thanks for joining me today. Recently we posted a video showing the, all the features of the Osprey Rook backpack. Somebody dropped us a comment and said it would be great to see the bag fully kitted for a multi-day trekking trip. So what we're going to do today is take a look at what actually fits inside the Osprey Rook 65 litre. Before we get going, please take a moment and click the subscribe button. It really helps our channel and uh, we can bring you more videos soon. So let's take a look around the bag. So what we've done is we've tried to pack this realistically with everything that you would probably take with you on a multi-day trekking trip. Obviously, everybody takes something different, but this will be uh, realistic to what potentially you could carry. So, let's have a look. Okay, so in the large side pocket here, we've got a sleep mat. The bag's been fitted with hydration which is obviously inside. So opening the top pocket of the bag, we have a first aid kit. We have a bag for putting any rubbish into or any rubbish that we pick up on the trail. What I would do with this, well, I always carry a bag like this and often it will be hung on the outside of my bag so that we can leave places better than we found them. map, long handled spoon, head torch and a fold away cup. That's everything in the top pocket. Spin it round. Large bottle for water, or large bottle for additional water. Then, on the bottom of the bag here, we've got a one person tent. I particularly like this tent, it's uh, Robin's Chaser one. Uh, great thing about this is you can remove the fly and uh, sleep underneath the stars. So you've got a built in mosquito net, but uh, you can sleep under the stars, which is great. Don't forget, just whilst we're at the bottom of the bag, this bag does come with rain cover. Which is great, because even, as you can see, even when we had the tent here, you can still get straight to the rain cover if it rains. So we've got a tent. Okay, then if we open up the very bottom of the bag, fold away pillow, Normal sort of thing. Wrap down sleeping bag. Okay. So now we're into the main compartment. Like I say, we tried to pack this bag realistically with the type of kit that you would have if you're away for multiple days. So let's fully open the top. Okay. Gas. Primus light stove. So on this trip, the basis of it would be, it would all be expedition food. So we would just be boiling water. Um, so absolutely perfect. I really love this stove. Uh, it's a bit smaller in, uh, kind of smaller in dimensions than a jet boil, just as good. In some ways, I prefer it more. Okay, a wash kit with everything you would expect. Uh, you know, hair gel, deodorant, toothbrush, toothpaste. Pack 
down jacket in case it gets cold or for extra warmth Primus Lantern really great because that will just work off the same bottle of gas as the stove and it's just nice in the evening outside the tent okay one packing cube so we've got shirt shorts trousers okay that's food we'll open that in a second so you can see I'll just show you all the clothes I've got to give you an idea of clothes that I put in the bag okay in this bag additional layer so that's like a uh, like a, a thin soft shell fleece uh, belt base layer three t-shirts hat in case it's cold Gloves in case it's cold. Three pairs of socks. Three pairs of pants. Last packing cube before we look at the food. Waterproof trousers, waterproof jacket. Okay, so that's the bag empty. We've got the hydration in the back of the bag. And then just to give you an idea of the food that we packed. Okay, so we've got your coffee sachets, tea sachets. These are particularly lovely. Well, the coffee's really good as well all recyclable and then in terms of meals gone with fire pot three main meals we got fire pot three breakfasts and then fire pot three lunches and then come with some Wayfarer desserts. So I think when you look at the, all the gear, all the equipment that's packed in there, there isn't really anything that's um, majorly missing. We've got everything in. We didn't use the uh, pockets on the hip belt. There was still some space left in the top pocket. Um, and obviously everybody's gonna take different amounts of things everybody's going for different amounts of time uh, but I've tried to not skimp on anything you know like I say we've got nine lots of uh, nine lots of fire pot mood uh, meals three puddings all your tea all your coffee we've got a lantern we've got a stove we've got hydration we've got water we've got sleeping bag we've got a uh, sleep map we've got map we've got first aid kit uh, and obviously all the clothes. <laughs> so uh, I hope that that gives you an idea of what will fit inside the Rook 65. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and if you thought it was helpful, please give us a like and we'll see you in the next video soon. Cheers guys.